definitely got their money's worth at this one. Goals, drama, defensive plays, hits, scoring chances, fights, celebrations. This game had everything, and it started right at puck drop. 13 minutes in, the puck along the boards finds Nolan Legacy, who spins and backhands it to Tegan McMullen, who beats Connor Webb glove side to put the Huskies up 1-0. Onto the second period now, Aiden Craigsteel finds Jared and Lowen to trigger a series of deadly passes, and it's Craigsteel himself who buries this one to put Fort St. John up by two. But the junior Canucks still fighting hard. Off the faceoff, the Huskies win it, but a costly turnover right in front of Jonathan Bateman. Brandon Rowley is there to one time it past the rival netminder. Fast forward to three minutes into the third, a long lead pass from Gary Lowen to Alex Nemo, and he snipes it high glove side past Webb. This rookie's first of the season. And he's all smiles as he heads back to his bench to celebrate. It's now 5-1 Huskies. But the game isn't over yet. Check out this hit on Dawson Creek's Nick Vanderplug. And the following would ensue. The result, nine 10 minute misconducts and two five minute majors. Thankfully, Vanderplog would continue playing, but that would seem to be the only positive for the junior C's as they lose this one 5 1. Total shots were in favor of the Huskies 47 to 19. We started out with lots of energy, and anytime we gathered up a little momentum, we ended up in a penalty box, and then so we're on a penalty kill, and, and that's what basically. It, it took our momentum away from the game the whole entire game. They're a very fast, upbeat team. They like to dipsy-doodle with the puck, so we just got to lay the body on them and keep laying the body on them until they keep turning the puck over. And when they, when we do, we were successful. I think we played really well, like, through the first period. We were kind of, like, struggling at the start, but once we get into that groove and the boys start rolling, we're good. It's a big rivalry every time against Dawson, and it's just a tough game against them. We always got to play our 60-minute game, and... It's just tough out there every game. There's coming hard and the boys play really well all night. Come out with that win. Well, it's always fantastic when we can have an opportunity to give back to the community. You know, a lot of fans here just come to watch us play and they give to us and help us out. So when we can use this as a platform to uh, make awareness, even though that we're at a minor league level, it's still good for whatever we can do with it to push the, the problem that we have going forward. And I think that uh, ourselves and Dawson Creek also did a fantastic job. And it's just nice for us to, to make the focus on something else for a change. And that focus is a, a good cause. 